against the backdrop of the spectacular Rocky Mountains on the outskirts of Colorado Springs, home to some of our nation's best and brightest at the United States Air Force Academy. And when they're not learning to fly, they're getting ready for battles on the gridiron. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the Fresno State Bulldogs taking on the Air Force Falcon. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Fresno State will kick it off and we will be underway. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oh, the Air Force Falcons offense takes the field for the first time today. And they're led out there by a man who will carry the ball plenty in this one, guys. Well, it's real simple. He's the best player on their team. They have got to force feed this guy the football, David. No doubt about it. The offense goes through him. Excited to see how they've built this offense and how many different ways they can get him touches. And he's brought down in the backfield as they throw him in reverse. Now on second and four from the 25. The give to the fullback. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. And this is not the way they envision the opening drive going with the third and long coming up. Leaves it with the running back. Jukes his way for more. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Falcons decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He gets a block. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. So Fresno State's offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. After the misfire, it's second and ten. To the air, it's Keen. Gets it out fast. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Got a man. It's Moss. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there. We're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3 nothing lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. 
the returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The back goes in motion. Sticks it in his belly. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Line getting set on second down. They'll run the option. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Back to throw, it's Busha. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third downs, having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Jukes his way for more. Fullbacks, a.k.a. blocking backs, a.k.a. don't touch the football very often and usually don't go far down the field. But a nice, nice little chunk run here for the, for the fullback. Give him the ball, reward the big fella. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. The Falcons get enough to move the chain. For young men who are going to make their living protecting the skies, they can cover some ground, too. <laughs> There's no doubt. And they're going to cover the ground and be on the ground, stay on the ground, and be very successful. That's what they want to do with this running attack. And the Falcons look to keep this drive humming. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Making sure the fullback gets a touch there and good pick up there, five or six. Yeah, and he's a north-south runner. You just give this guy a little crease, he puts his foot in the ground, and he gets upfield quickly, and that guy is hard to bring down. And now on second down for this offense. Now on the option. Makes his man miss. Tackle is made after the first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. The Falcons will line it up on first and ten. Here comes the option. And that defensive penetration gave him no chance, and he is ridden out of bounds. Man, you got to know when to give it up. You can't just keep retreating and going backwards and backwards and backwards, thinking at some point you're going to outrun everybody and make a big play. That play was doomed from the get-go, and it was going the wrong direction. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. On third and forever, let's test his arm strength. Got his man downfield. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. No, oh, no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal.
Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. The misfire on the 49-yard field goal attempt sets him up with pretty good field position at the 32. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Gets it out quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. It's complete. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Great execution on the RPO, and the receiver had some time to find the soft spot in the zone and make himself open for the quarterback and make it a much easier pass. Great job. From inside the 40 at the 37, it's first down. He wants to throw. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. You don't see that very often. You don't see the big tight ends with the soft mitts and the big, huge hands and the nice, sticky gloves. You don't see them drop many of those balls that hit him right there in the hands. That was a, that was a missed opportunity by the tight end right there. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Now facing a third and long. To the air. It's Keane. Feeling some heat. Quarterback now breaking the field. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. Fresno State will have to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock him up close to their goal line. No return possible on this when it goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. If they thought it would fool them to give it to the fullback, that was not the case. Yeah, give this defense credit. They obviously watched a lot of film this week, and they knew there were a lot of different guys offensively that could touch the football, including the fullback, but he had no room to go there. A third and long coming up here. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front, and they're able to get to the quarterback. And the Falcons send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. 
On the move, it's Moss. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the misfire now on second down. Back to throw, it's Keen. Got it set up on the outside. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. That is a time-honored way to slow down the rush, hit him with the screen, and a chunk play. Yeah, such a great job because you're flying up the field to get to the quarterback because everything looks like pass down the field. Let those guys get up the field, throw it right behind him. He does a little bit of the rest, making some moves, getting upfield, making the big play. And he makes the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. Now on second and short after the first down completion. Using the quick game. Tackled after picking up the first down. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. Fresno State moving it quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Let's it fly deep downfield. And that one is picked off in the end zone. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The yeah, last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. On the option. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. A little old-school football riding the big fella, and a nice gain on that one. Yeah, this guy's an athlete, too. He's not just a blocker. You can hand off the ball, and he can go find positive yards. Shows you right there. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll run the option. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And, David, this is where I think you could have excelled. You're a great defensive end. There's other positions you could have played. Fullback, I know, being one of them. How about that guy there picking up the first? That's a nice job. Don't, don't make this hard. Don't make it overly complex. We've seen the big fellas block all the time. Give them a bone. Reward him. Now he'll block harder and he'll block longer in the future. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. He'll ride his man on the option. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? The option look, fighting off the defender. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. 
I'll tell you guys, this fullback, he's not just a blocker. He can catch the football, and he can also run it, especially on third down. What a weapon. The Falcons have it with a first and ten. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Well, I don't know what the quarterback saw on that last play, but he made a pretty quick decision that he was just going to tuck it and run it, and his offensive coordinator is glad he did. How about the speed by the QB on that play? As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Leaves it with the back. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, guys, and Fresno State is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. Complete in the middle. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. I love it. What a play call. Going to the fullback in the running game, and he shows you that he's got some ability. This guy was a big-time high school running back, and he shows you the wiggle. He's got some ability to break tackles, and he helps his offense out. On the option, he'll keep it himself. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs, so it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going, but moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Falcons! A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big, long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 7-3. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a 5-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is 5. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early. And this one, they just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Looking to throw, it's Keen. They're bringing heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. 
And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. Fresno State will have to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Air Force has it back and the Falcon offense returns to the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. On target. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Moving into scoring territory at the 36 on first down. They'll go to the fullback. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. They'll line up for a second down play. On the option. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Goes to the option. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Well, the defense came into this game ready for the quarterback option, and everyone played their assignment. They forced the quarterback to keep it. They rallied to him, made a tackle. Nice job early in this game playing good assignment football. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Finally pulled down, but not before, moving the chains for a first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. On 
the move. It's Gilliam. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Bulldogs are moving quickly down the field. Got his man quickly. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. I'm trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? Looking to throw, it's Keen. Finds his target down the middle. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. Got it in the middle, it's Moss. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Those third and medium calls needed four there, and they got it using the quick passing game. And I think, Reese, on those third and short situations, I think you also know the ball's going to come out quickly. And you got to take away that quick stuff right now, but the QB gets the football, immediately sees the slant, easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Moss. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The offense set for a first down play. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up, and they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for us. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bulldogs! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to add another. Right down the middle. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. The give to the big fullback. to the running game on first down now second down give to the big fullback and he's brought to the ground but not before he gets enough for the first down those fullbacks are grown men those guys are constantly hitting linebackers and blocking the whole entire game so when you get a chance to give the big boy the ball it's always, and you know what it is? It's a morale boost for everybody on the whole field. Everybody gets jacked up, and he finally gets to touch the football. They'll run the option. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine.
Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. To the air. It's Busha. Dumps it off in the flats. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Fires downfield. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Falcons will send out the punt unit. Fair catch called for and made. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Looking to throw on second down almost had the completion just missed it you see the tight ends and nowadays in football they're just so athletic and they can do so many different things and right here this wasn't one of them that we want to brag about he had a chance to drag across the field and, and make a catch but that thing hit him right in the midst and he just dropped it third down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off and the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down it's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fresno State will have to punt it away. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. Give to the fullback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, when you're handing off to your fullback, oftentimes these guys need some space to work so they can build up ahead of steam and get the speed going, but that guy didn't have anywhere to go on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Now on the option. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Dropping back, it's Busha trying to get to him. And he can't escape, and down he goes. All right, that's one the offensive line has got to be able to communicate and pick up. When that inside linebacker comes running through the A-gap or the B-gap, those O-linemen, they've got to work together, and they've got to pass guys off to one another to make sure they pick him up. They didn't do it that time. The Falcons will line up to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. He tried to make something out of nothing, but there was really nothing he could do on that play. And I hope offensively that's not going to make them quit on this option play. That, that's a scheme that really puts the defense in a bind. If I were them, I wouldn't let that play stop them from trying to run it later in this game. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. 
The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Fresno State back to work with a fresh set of downs. To the air. It's Keen. Throws to the wideout. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Bulldogs! That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it in and get the easy touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. It's first down from their own 23-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. You know, it's hard enough just to catch passes in college football, but to do it while also being cognizant of where you are in the field and making sure you get a foot down inbounds, that's really impressive. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He's going to pass. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Second down coming up. Running back goes in motion. Off play action. Quarterback on the move, still looking. At the 35, he's loose. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against him. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. They're in the red zone. First and 10 from the 20. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Setting up the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. 
And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hatch. It is perfect. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. At the 35, he's open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Yeah, and I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big gain. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Looking downfield, it's Keane. Unleashes one deep. He's got it on the left. Touchdown, Fresno State. And they take it in for six more points. And I, and I love this offense, man. Staying aggressive. Just because you got the lead, you know people can score points in bunches. This offense keeps the foot on the accelerator, scores again on the final play. Now this offense has even more of a cushion going into halftime. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. And through two quarters of ball, it looks like we're in for another fun one here today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Colorado Springs. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. Stopped at the 28, but a big 15-yard pickup gives them some breathing room. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. That's not the way you'd like to start this set of downs. It's now first and 20. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And just an awesome job by that defender on that play. Great awareness, and he had his eyes on the quarterback, so he saw the ball thrown, and as such, he was able to go and swat it. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Back to pass, it's Keen. Quickly complete. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down, and more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. On the move. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. He was trying to push it downfield. He was looking for a receiver, trying to make a play. To tell the pressure started to get to him a little bit, nowhere to go with the football, and just fights back to the line of scrimmage. The defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. From the gun, the ground game. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple in second and eight. They'll go to the counter. A run up the middle is stuffed for no gain. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. They've got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here, just don't take a negative play. Gives it to the back on the draw. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. He got it. And now the lead is even bigger. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Looking to throw, it's Boucher. Finds his man down the middle. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Wide receiver now comes in motion. 
The snap sets up the throw. Lofts one high and deep. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. And the Falcons will punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Quick strike complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Pulls and fires complete. Got room at the 35. Afterburner's coming. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. And the Bulldogs have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. They'll try to blast their way in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, and on third and goal, they're saying, hey, we're still going to try to power this football and run it. Obviously haven't had success. Now getting to fourth and goal. Now it's a situation, do I kick the field goal? Do I feel comfortable running the football? Or do I need to throw this now? And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. No good. Missed the field goal, missed the chance to make it a three-possession game, but still a 14-point lead, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. The big fullback's got it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And here comes the offense on second down. Here comes the option. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Motion from the offense. Back to pass. It's Busha. Spits it out to the back. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Nice job in coverage on that third and short. Defensively taking all the throws and options away for the quarterback. And now we're setting up fourth down. 
The Falcons will bring the punt team onto the field. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more, but Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The play action fake. Throws to the tight end. Working that left side. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Man, the tight ends are one of the most versatile guys in the field, and you see it right here. The play action, they're used to blocking, right? No, they slip right by the linebackers, slip to the second level, come open, the quarterback finds them in great rhythm. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Power football with the run. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. Solid pick up of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Moss. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And on the slant route, I love the location of the throw by the quarterback. He's not making it difficult on his receiver. He's putting the football out in front, hitting his receiver right in the face mask and making it easy for him. The run to the left. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. They'll run play action. Buys a little time with his feet. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. He does a really good job here. You want to get a huge play. You've got to push the ball down the field. You need a bunch of yards. But wait a minute. Now he can just tuck it, scramble, go get you a bunch of yards. Now put you in a great third down situation. Real heads up play by the quarterback. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Fires into the end zone. And the ball is picked off. And he's brought down. And this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. To the ground with the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Run it with the fullback. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. They'll leave it with him. Kept it on the ground on third down. Picked up five yards, but it'll still be fourth and one. And the Falcons will call on their punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. So from the shadow of his goalpost, he gets the punt away. Typically, at this spot on the field, you make a fair catch. I'd call that risk-aversive, but it is good field position. 
They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You can't let the same guy beat you over and over and over again. You got to make adjustments. Sometimes you got to bring more guys in the box, more guys to the football, and make sure he's not the one who beats you. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Back to throw. It's Keem. He's right on target. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. we got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. Fresno State will have to punt. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the missed connection on third down. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Falcons will try to pin them back with the punt. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Yet. Still on the 35-yard line. They'll try it again on second and 10. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. A third and long coming up here. Looking to pass. It's Keen. Fires to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. That's the end of the quarter, guys, and Fresno State is on top. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. The Bulldogs will have it first and ten. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. 
At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Moving out of the pocket. Going to try to get it himself. He saw just enough daylight to move the sticks and get it done with his legs. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. Fresno State moving it quickly down the field. Off play action on first down. Got it in the middle. It's James. He goes to the ground, but not before a big pickup and a first down. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead. They've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the scoreboard. Here's the handoff. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem in the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep running the football. Everything is going according to plan right now. They've been able to stay on the field. They put some nice plays together back to back to back, and they're bleeding the clock. This is exactly what you practice for for situations like this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Fresno State. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Looking for a man. It's Busha. Looking to the big tight end. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. Big play out of the gate to start this drive, and here they come again. Coming out on first down with the play fake. They get him down after he makes the catch. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Quarterback moving. He'll try to do it himself. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete to the left. 
Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. And the Falcons have it with a first and ten. On the option. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Quarterback keeper. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I'm not sure what the quarterback saw on that one, but that was a very quick decision to take off and run with it to try to get his offense some positive yards. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Caught close to the marker. It's Harris. Touchdown, Air Force! What a grab and go for the score. Love the thought process by the quarterback here on this play. Nobody open in the end zone. Find your check down. Find the running back. He does that, and once this guy's got the ball in his hands, he shows you that elusiveness and his ability to sniff out the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And it's perfect. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Defense doing a great job watching the quarterback's eyes and breaking on the ball. They already have two picks in the game and they swat that one away. They are doing an awesome job in coverage. After the misconnection, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Keen. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Fresno State will have to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Harris. 
And they pick up just a few on that completion. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires into traffic, intercepted. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. They'll try the run. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Got three on first down at second and seven. Wants to throw. It's key. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield. Got the big play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. Wow, the quarterback got away with one there. He's lucky that defender dropped that pass, because if he picks it, he might have taken that one to the house. Fresno State will have to punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Now on second down. They'll run the option. Crosses the 45. They get him down at the 49, but not before he picks up 15. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense... Maybe time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. And the fullback breaks off a nice gainer there. No such thing as just three yards in a cloud of dust with this guy. He can make people miss and get you a play. So after the first down run, here's second down. He'll ride his man on the option. The Falcons get it past the sticks. Well, this defense has to know that this fullback, he's not just a blocker. He's a guy that can carry the football as well. He went ahead and got that first down. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. The option look. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Well, they handed it off to the fullback, and a nice job by the strong safety coming downhill and making a tackle on a big physical ball carry. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. On the option. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. 
And you gotta throw the fullbacks a bone occasionally, okay? Those dudes have one of the worst jobs on the field. Always blocking every single play, down in, down out. When you get those situations, you can give them the ball, give them a bone, reward him for all of his hard work. And the Falcons with the first and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. I love DBs that want to tackle, and they get an opportunity to look like heroes on these outside toss plays. Physical play by the corner there, getting the ball carried down behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Looking for a man. It's Busha. Throwing right, and he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Makes the grab. It's Carson. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, that time on third and long, they just took what the defense gave him. Nothing down the field. They were hoping maybe he could make somebody miss after the catch. Wasn't able to do it, so now it sets up fourth. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. The Falcons racing to the line in the hurry up. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. Operating in the red zone here on second down. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. One of the reasons I love this defense is because their DBs get involved, and they come screaming downfield that's a pretty good athlete playing quarterback on that run but because of the speed they have in their secondary boy they were able to get to him quickly 12th play of the drive coming up but they've got a long way to go here on third down scanning the field it's busha extending the play quarterback has to protect himself gets down with the slide Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. They want that clock to run. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 10. Well, at this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, deep in their own end, they're going to want to run the football, no doubt. The defense knows that. And they're going to be trying to rip it out, seeing if they can get a takeaway to set up their offense in great field position. So ball security right here has got to be big. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. Now on the counter. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Fresno State will have to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. 
he gets it away from his own end zone. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. First down here for the offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Dropping back, it's Busha. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He wants to throw. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Harris. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. And the Falcons will snap it on first and ten. Now from inside the red zone. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. This is caught for the way touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. attempt to try and with the extra point every little bit counts as they get closer so that scoring drive took only six plays and they top it off with a 14 yard pass for the touchdown just under 40 seconds to go and it's going to come down to whether they can get this onside kick to have a shot and a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time. You, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football, the first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. 